Hey guys, this is John, and I'm playing a one-minute game or series of games on the ICC as usual. I'll go g6 and Fianchetto my bishop here. I do not know what c3 was all about against Sosat from Argentina. Argentina. Okay, let's go d5. This is really good for me. Um, I'm threatening some rook e8 stuff soon. Soonish. Like now. Uh, let's go knight e5. Maybe I can get my knight in somewhere. Somewhere nasty like this. If he takes c7, I'll take b2. It's a fair trade, I think. Oh, I have queen a3, or queen c5 now. That wins a piece. As far as I can tell. Ooh, no it doesn't. Because he has queen f2, which would attack this pawn. So, there's that. Uh, what is going on here? Um, I feel like I should just be easily winning this position. If he plays rook d1, I have knight f2. Uh, let's just go here. I'll try to attack that. This already feels very sloppy, but I'm in complete control at the moment. <laughs> let's just go here. I'm threatening some back rank stuff. Uh, let's just go f5. Time warning. Yep, time warning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm threatening. I have rook takes h4. I've got all sorts of stuff here. Check. Yeah, this is this is pretty much Check. over. Yeah, he resigned. Okay, so quick win to start that out there. His opening strategy was not great. I mean, playing um, c3 in that position. I don't know if that was mouse slip or what, but maybe he meant to play knight c3. Who knows? There's no reason to play c3. Probably missed some stuff that was even better. Like originally right here, I wanted to play queen c5 check and then go take his knight. But then I saw if queen c5 he has queen f2, but maybe I can just take on a3 in that case. Like, as long as I'm waiting for a game here, I'll just show you. Yeah, right here. So take, take, check. check. Here. Oh, and also, well, I could take his bishop, but he would take my uh, my my knight on b2 in that position. All right, so I've got danger zone now. Must be a Kenny Loggins fan. Hmm. Okay. Uh, this line, I think check. I'm supposed to check. Whoa! What is going on? That's not something that's supposed to happen. I, I have no clue what this position is. If he plays a6, I can take on d7, though. So I've got that going for me. Which is nice. Check. Hmm. I didn't see that move. Check. <laughs> My king's going to be very Check. exposed now. Along with other pieces. Oh, man. This is not good. <laughs> he will not trade queens with me. No way. With my king this open? Not a chance. Gotta run and hide. Let's go here. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> you can do all these discoveries on me. Uh, let's go here. My queen is defending the rook. This is nice. Uh, what to do now? I honestly have no clue. Let's go here. All right, let's go here. Ooh, now I might be able to force a queen trade. Yep, that's what's gonna happen. Somehow I'm up a pawn in this position. It's miraculous. No, I'm up two pawns. Time. I had an extra pawn I didn't even know about. I think Check. I'm doing really well. Whoa, I didn't see that move. Check. What is going on? I'm gonna get checkmated somehow but he's hanging stuff. I'm going to maybe escape. Uh, let's go here. Check. 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 He's going to perpetual Check. me. Check. Yeah, he perpetualed me. <laughs> what an insane game. Uh, who is Danger Zone? Sahaj Grover. I think he's a GM. Sahaj Grover? Sounds like... I think it's a GM. But... Uh, Ooh, I don't know. I don't know what was going on there. 
This opening was really weird. B5? I don't even know that was playable for black. What is this? Let's just check with the engine real quick. B5? Take. It's a hard move to meet in a bullet game, right? Take, take, here. That move was not so good. I should just be greedy and take it. Take on d4. I must have been winning later on. For some reason, it didn't connect with me that when he played rook d2, that he was actually attacking my e-pawn, and that my bishop was kind of stuck here. All right. Well, that's that's okay. Um, let's look at the pool again, see what we got. While we're waiting, we'll take a look at the best list. There I am. Oh, Alejandro Ramirez, you're higher than me right now. How is that possible? How is that possible? Who's this guy? Double entendres. 2684. Picking your pieces off the waiver wire. Must be a fantasy sports player. Yeah, clearly a good a good uh, a guy here. I mean, <laughs> he's got some pretty nice stats. It's a good ratio of wins to losses and bullet. All right, let's do, let's get a game. It's actually, while well, we're waiting, just see who's playing right now. Two Huang's in the pool. As long as two Huang's in the pool, we're gonna have some action. Look at his rating, 2264. Like when I when I lost to him a couple times the other day, he was, uh, I think, mid 2400s. So he must have hit a, hit a bad stretch. Maybe he's been playing too long. Hmm. Yeah, you see Tu Huang, he just totally mixes up his openings. He plays queen e6 check in this position in the opening, and then moves his queen around a bunch of times and wins a pawn. He is probably about to lose this one, unless he can flag the guy. I'm going to guess white wins. Oh, I guess we won't find out. We'll go here. Insolente. This guy's an interesting opponent. I remember playing this guy quite a bit um, many moons ago. He's sacking in exchange. Okay, let's go here. I want that bishop. Check. Uh, let's take here. Yeah, rook b1. Uh, let's go back. He can play e5. Um, that's an annoying move to meet, actually. All right, I'll just have to give the rook in the corner. Check. Unfortunately. Unfortunately for me. Take here. Uh, let's just take, do that. And I hope his knight can't escape. I think I'm, I can almost trap it. I think it's possible. Uh, let's go h4. Let's go here. Just as long as this knight's stuck. We'll do that. Okay. He's kind of ignoring my, uh, my play. Um, let's take it. Time warning. Check. Hmm. It's tricky nights, huh? These very tricky nights. We've got to be careful. Check. Not going to step there. Check. 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 Not going to let that happen. Check. Ah. Okay. Well, he ran out of time at the end. That was intense down the stretch. All right, let's play him again. Mm-hmm. This line is, um, I think, pretty solid. He's, I think he was trying to catch me pre-moving there, by the way. I like this line for white. I am totally fine with playing this. I think I have maybe a little bit of an advantage. I'll go after that A pawn. Let's 
go here. Probably play e6, yeah. It's going to be down a pawn, but uh, it might be hard for me to keep a lot of winning chances if he were to eliminate this pawn. Let's go here and play this. I'm going to try to launch an attack against his king. I'll play h4 now. I think this is pretty nice for me. Check. This will be a thorn in his side. Mm hmm. Go after his bishop. I actually hung my pawn on uh, e4 there. He didn't see it. Okay, now I think I'm winning. I think. Hmm. Let's go here. Check. This move should be winning. Time. He's going to try Check. to blitz me out. But he's not going to be successful. Check. Check. Mm, where's Check. my mate? Check. <laughs> Check. Check. Check mate. All right, there's my mate. Couldn't find mate at the end. Ooh, Dihoni. All right, cool. This guy I like. This guy I've lost to several times recently, so, you know, I've got to figure out a way to play against him. Uh, let's go here. This probably isn't so great for me, but uh, we can make do. Let's go bishop g5. Let's go here, attack that rook. Take, maybe. Gain a tempo on his queen. Um... He has to play queen e7, otherwise... Ooh, but if queen e7, I have knight e4, and I'm really ganging up on that knight. I can play bishop b7 here, maybe. Uh, which way to take? Take, he's going to be hitting my queen. Um, let's go this way. Yeah. Check. Check. i got to think this is good for me. I'm threatening queen h6. What is he going to do about it? Yeah, he kind of has to play that move, doesn't he? Um, let's just go here. I really don't want to get mated on, the, on that long diagonal. Check. Let's give a check. Okay, now I'm threatening his rook, and I'm also threatening to just trade with him. Okay, this is great for me now. This is winning. He hung his bishop. And resign. Yes, I beat the honey. I'm up to 2560. Okay, fun stuff. B4, the Mycetes Gambit. Okay. This is how a lot of guys like to play against this opening, especially when it comes to uh, Bullet. The good old Mycetes. Um, okay, I'll go here. Mm hmm. This might hurt taking this pawn. I really might be asking for some pain by doing this. Okay, let's go here. <laughs> Going through a lot of effort just to win a couple pawns. Uh, do I have this one? Yeah, I think I do. Timely move, bishop d6. Really timely move. He's got to do that. Yeah, now I'm simplifying. Very nice idea. That bishop d6 move. Got kind of lucky with it. Um, let's just go here. He's going to try to play c4. Yep. Let's see if he wants to trade rooks with me. Time warning. Uh, okay, let's go there. Okay, let's see if he'll take. Man. Blowing this rook all the way down, threaten stuff. Oh, that was dumb. Yeah, you can just play knight takes. Oh, I blew this game. 
definitely blew this game. Maybe I can walk all the way in though. Check. He's blowing this game even more than I am though. Ah, it's a draw at the end. <laughs> That's funny. All right, Dahoney. We're one and one today. I'm going to play a couple more games. 25-41 at the moment. Wow. I almost came back there. <laughs> I just didn't have any time. He kept sending me problems. Like, after bishop e2, I need some way to unwind. It mainly has to do with my rook being undefended on d8. c6 turned out to be a poor move because of knight, knight a4. He actually had a lot of compensation. Let's go e5. Against danger zone. Uh, let's play the Joko piano. Okay. This is all normal stuff. Let's play it. Well, we'll go bishop b6. h6. Just castle. Bring my knight over to the king side. He's going to do the same. Now I'll try to go d5. Mm-hmm. a5 maybe? a5, a4. Ooh, bishop takes h6. I just blundered. That was attack to keyhead. Uh, what to do here? I'm going to maneuver my knight. Because I don't really see what I can do with my knight that looks halfway decent. Go here. Maybe I can try to exchange his light square bishop. Oh, I just hung that. I'm like, maybe I'll do this and then hang something. Bad. Bad news. Well, maybe I can trap his bishop now. Okay, his bishop did get trapped. That's nice. Oh, whoa, he's going to do that. Okay. Check time warning. Mm, he has that move, but I have that move. Ooh, this is not clear at all. This is not clear whatsoever. Uh-huh. Okay, well, might be Check. clarifying in his favor. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's go here. Check. Hmm. Check. Let's do this. He's going to get my last pawn. Am I faster than him? Probably not. No, I was faster than him. <laughs> I got a draw. 25-34. All right, let's do one more. One more game, and then we'll wrap it up here. How am I doing so far? I think I'm down rating points a little bit on the session. Let's start right here. I only lost that one game to Dahoney, though. But I haven't played up in rating this entire session. I've had three draws. That's a huge number of draws for just a uh, you know, few games in the bullet pool. Really huge number. So, last game. Let's make it a good one. I haven't played too long. I really want to play him. I keep missing him. We'll just take a look at this game until uh, I get paired. Hmm. Okay, so two Huang versus Dahoney. Weird opening. Just realized that my resolution on the recording might be, you probably see some blank space like right here. Sorry about that. Oh, okay, that was just on the, I see what was going on. That was only while I was observing the game. All right, so last game against Danger Zone. Let's see if we get another Rogozin. What's well, this crazy line again? Check. Oh, he's gonna play it differently this time. Um, can I take? I think I can take. This is a line. I don't... It's called the Hennig-Schrera Gambit, I believe. Go bishop d2. 
Check. It has to be played accurately. Yeah, he plays he plays a6 to stop bishop to uh, b5. I, mean, I don't think he's going to get much compensation now. Yeah, he has no compensation at this point. Mm. He tried to preempt my uh, rook d1 move. Mm, let's go here. He can regain his pawn now by doing that, but I have this move. Um, maybe here. Let's go there. Ooh, this could hurt though. Yeah, not good. Not good by me. I went from being up a pawn to now probably suffering. Although, do I win that one? I don't win that one. I might. I don't, because he has rook a3. Time warning. That's very annoying. That is very annoying. He just has these little little moves he can play. Check. I'm going to sack my bishop if I can. I'm totally going to do that. Well, now I can go after this. Uh, let's go here. Yeah. Okay, this is now a draw. Okay. Check. Not much to be done for either side. Yeah, draw. Okay. <laughs> So another draw to end the session. What was that? Four draws for the for the series. So I played one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games, half of which ended in draws. So uh, only three wins, one loss, and four draws. Wow. Well, rating went down a little bit. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that bullet session. And please feel free to leave me any feedback in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys.